Hello. Good morning. Hey, Nick. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Morning. Morning, morning. Hi, Christy. Oh, hey, Stephen Elspeth. Good morning, morning. John. Christy. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, friends. We got our back. Hey, Nyman's. Morning, Rachel. Hi. We're just going to give one minute for some people to join in and then we'll begin. Hey, Nick, how much time do you have? Sorry, Dagmar. No, go ahead, John. Maybe Nick can't hear us. Hello? Hello? Sorry, I was muted. <laughs> I have about uh, 15 minutes. Okay, we'll get to you in that time, okay? Yeah, no worries, no worries. Okay. Good, good. We're coming in. Good morning, good morning John and Dagmar. If you saw FC Family Church, that was me in my work office mode. I'm sorry, it's not another church prying in on this <laughs> conversation. It's Cheryl here. Hi, Cheryl. I signed out. I signed out. <laughs> No worries. I joined my hubby. <laughs> there you go. Well, good morning, friends. This is my first official uh, duty after being off since Christmas. So I'm accepting sympathy, <laughs> <laughs> having to return back to real life. No. We had a really interesting Christmas. So we had a wonderful trip to Winnipeg planned. And then on Christmas Eve, my stepson tested positive for COVID. Oh. And we had to cancel our trip. So, and then a couple of days later, my stepdaughter tested positive. So we spent, Terrell and I spent our Christmas uh, being room service for two young adults who are living their best ramen life upstairs <laughs> burning, <laughs> and staying up till five in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. We still had a very nice Christmas though, but it wasn't what we expected. So the extra week was needed because after hotel Dagmar closed, it was, <laughs> it was ready for a bit of a break, <laughs> but everybody's fine. So good that's good yeah i hope everybody else's christmas was a little cheerier than that <laughs> okay great so we've got lots of friends uh jumping on here so we're meeting together as hamilton mountain and ann castor and um wanted to just um spend some time together chatting and most importantly wanted to um, get the opportunity to introduce everybody to uh, John and Christy Latta. So John is the interim lead pastor for Ancaster and um, will be graciously leading the Ancaster crew from now till sometime around March, I think, um, as we continue the, to look for a full-time pastor there. And, uh, and so the best part of that is that we also get Christy during that time too. We get to spend time with her. So uh, we're super excited, but I wanted to introduce them and then give them the opportunity to just say hello and introduce themselves a little bit. Hey, Dagmar, can, I, I was just wondering, um, I don't, uh, Christy and I will introduce ourselves, but can we get Nick just to do a quick youth update because he's like at work and he's in his car sure. taking like a 15 minute break. Perfect. Okay. And so let's, we'll go so, to Nick first and then you guys can have more time. You won't have to rush. Yeah. Okay. So Dagmar, I don't know if 
if everybody knows Nick or not. No, well, yeah. So Nick came on as our uh, Hamilton youth coordinator um, um, about a month or so ago, I guess. And so he has, yeah, something like that. He's been doing a great job. Nick was the youth coordinator at the Hamilton Mountain site prior to that. And he is amazing. We're so lucky to have him. And he has been uh, wrangling our youth for the last while and uh, helping us to make youth happen in this season, which was really important for our two sites, especially it's in downtown as well, but particularly for our two sites because there's so much transition, but also just, it's been a really rough season for um, teenagers and kids doing school online. And so we just really wanted to make sure that we were taking care of our young people. And uh, Nick's been a big part of that. So he's just gonna say hello and introduce himself so you can see what he, put a, a face to the name and then give us maybe a little bit of a youth update. Take it away, Nick. Well, thank you for the intro guys. Very much appreciate it. <laughs> yes, uh, my name is Nick. I will be your uh, youth coordinator for the time being. Um, in terms of a youth update, um, I know uh, Dagmar, me and you, we still have to kind of finalize things. Yes. Um, but I do want to go online. So for any uh, parents in here, um, that's the plan really. Um, I do want to go online, but uh, we will have a final word by the end of the day. Uh, so what's going to go on? Um, youth has been great. Like honestly, the time that we got to spend together in person really was awesome. And um, I'm, you know, I'm hoping that we can go back to in person. Like I'm assuming we can. Uh, from what I've been told, I. I don't know, we're kind of just going off of what we know, right? So um, I'm assuming that we'll be back in probably February. And uh, yeah, that's the youth update. Um, if anybody is looking to uh, volunteer with, with us too, um, if you guys, you know, like have a passion with the youth, uh, we're always looking, right? So um, that's another great thing. But uh, yeah, for the time being, we, we will most likely be online, so. Yeah, I think that's kind of all for me for the updates right now. There's really not too much else to say, right? Yeah. But yes, I am me. If you guys have any questions um, about youth, um, yeah, you can always contact me. I will leave my email in the chat. So perfect. We'll do that. Thanks, Nick. But yeah. Yeah, it's a little no bit worries, hard no to give a, a an official update because things are changing by the moment. So we'll be making some decisions exactly, for the next exactly. couple of weeks today, at least, yeah. and then everybody will be um aware of what's happening exactly awesome thanks nick oh thank you guys so much sorry i don't have much time but uh, no worries thanks yeah, for making it yeah yeah appreciate no, it thank you guys thank you so much um okay okay dagmar uh you knew he was having a bit of a break there so we'll get going hey Perfect. everybody it's good to see you all i think we i know quite a few faces here this is actually um feel like that uh, at least some faces I, I am very aware of or golf with some people here, even in this uh, on all these <laughs> screens. So that's wonderful. Um, I just wanted you to know that Christy and I actually are a couple and we've been married over 30 years. But what we have found is you see this little space here, like I'm in a cubby hole almost and we can't fit two of us in here. So Christy is on another screen. Chris, can you say something? So maybe it'll pop up on people's screens, depending upon, maybe you could, Chris, can you share about our family a little bit and where we're at family-wise? Okay. Hi everybody, I'm Christy. And um, it is so good to be with you guys in Ancaster. We have known and loved um, Matt and Lisa Collins for a lot of years. So to be in the same actual church space as them for a little while is, really exciting and it's going to be a lot of fun so thanks for letting us um hang out with you for a bit um john yeah he just said we've been married for over 30 years um 32 years and we have three kids um our oldest daughter's married she and her husband have planted a church in Bimbrook, and then in march they're doing another plant in dundas and our middle daughter is going to help them with that and they have two fantastic kids who we absolutely adore. They are six and almost six and three. And then our youngest son um, lives with us. He's at university online, which he loves. And um, so that's our family. We're really happy to be here and uh, 
Thanks for having us. Christy and I have had such an amazing opportunity in um, when we've just been pastoring in Burlington. So that's part of our story is that um, I've been at the meeting house now for six and a half years. And I just finished December 31st as lead pastor at the meeting house in Burlington. But one of the highlights, we're realizing one of the highlights actually for the last six and a half years is that Christy and I have had a chance to minister together. And uh, just as maybe being a bit in our in a, a later season in life, I'm not sure how to say that, but um, I'm just getting used to that, is that uh, it, it actually affords us with our kids now not as young, it affords us to do a lot of ministry together. So we've taken advantage of that uh, in every way we could and um, want to make that aware that not everybody can do that, right? Because of different careers and different things, but it's just one of the highlights that we just found ourselves for the last six and a half years. And so we now have um, decided to, or I'd say agreed. No, I want to say the right thing. I was approached about helping Ancaster for about a three month period of time. And uh, I'll be honest with you, I've really been wrestling with sort of getting on to something new in ministry, maybe looking at something for the next five years. And I hesitated from joining not because I didn't want to be with you people, but more because I really want to figure out what's next. And uh, I, I stepped, I actually resigned from the meeting house uh, in Burlington in August, but I talked to Daryl and agreed to stay on because uh, in September, we all started to regather in person and I didn't want to leave before that. So uh, we went through the regathering process. Um, we were also able to hire another lead pastor in my time there. So the great news is we had a bit of time to do a bit of transition time with each other. But realistically speaking, I said, Daryl, you know, it really needs to be at the end of December. So we made that agreement. We lived up to that agreement. And within that is that we really haven't had a chance to really prayerfully slow down, like if you heard on the live stream today, and just really sense what God is up to next. And so our original plan for Christy and I, um, pre this COVID lockdown, was to take January <clears throat> and to really just kind of have like our own sabbatical, have not had that in over 30 years of ministry, and just sort of take some time to consider kind of what's next. Um, but then was approached three times to join you guys. <laughs> so then Christy said, she was like praying about it and said, God told her we need to do this. And so I'm here because God told my wife, we need to do this. <clears throat> but we actually are super excited uh, to be part of your community. And quite frankly, um, we live on Hamilton Mountain already. Uh, even though we're in Burlington, we live on Hamilton Mountain. We actually live up in the upper gauge and Rymo area. So we were already going to be looking for another church. So the reality of it is maybe this three month period of time will be the beginning stages of doing church with you guys in the future, but at least leave, giving some leadership to that. Um, um, I just thought, I thought that that would be interesting that you knew a little bit of our transition story. <clears throat> and now the practical part of it is, is that um, I'm only doing this part time and that's, so it's 20 hours a week, but I'm not even doing it as a meeting house employee. I'm doing it as a contract. And what that hopefully is allowing me to do is spend some other time uh, talking and networking with some other ministry leaders that I know uh, a little bit so that we can start working on sort of what's next. I'm not ready to retire yet, but uh, who knows the future? Um, can't afford to retire yet. That's another story. But uh, who knows the future of what, where God's going to lead us? So here's a couple of little bonus things, and you guys can get to know us as time goes on. I feel super uncomfortable talking about myself, so that's a whole other story. But Dagmar and I have worked together for quite a few years. I love Dagmar, and I love her heart, and I love her, her giftedness. Dagmar and I have been working together for quite a few years. Um, um, Dagmar in the Hamilton Mountain Parish, us in the Burlington Parish, but we've been working together with some other churches with a young adult kind of um, program, Dagmar, I don't know what to call it, but anyway, called Summer Six. And so during the summer, we take six weeks to really specifically focus on young adults. And we just bring young adults together um, on a beautiful piece of property north of Burlington. And we've been doing that for several years. And just instead of preaching at these young adults, we actually sit and listen, bring a topic and maybe have a speaker that comes in or a communicator that comes in that's got a specialized focus on a topic. 
and then we listen. And we've just developed amazing relationships. And personally, I've been able to see Dagmar just work in her sweet spot of just getting to know, especially these young adults, and just cultivating these relationships. So this is kind of fun for me to be working a bit alongside with Dagmar for a bit of a season. Then the other bonus is, I don't know if you all are aware of this, <clears throat> but um, your ex-pastor, Matt Collins, <laughs> is the guy who was the pastor in Burlington before I came. So the guy literally is like, I was going to say John the Baptist, but that would make me like Jesus. So I don't want to do that. But the point of it is, he's the forerunner for sort of things that I come in afterwards. I fixed a lot of mistakes. And so part of along the way is that, uh, is that no, 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 Matt's a fabulous friend. Uh, Matt and Lisa are a phenomenal couple. You guys have been blessed to have them uh, in your leadership for the years you've been there. Um, we are great friends. Um, Matt, I want to be careful because Matt, He's going to say something, but Matt and I've worked on several retreats and conferences together, and we actually work together still on a young adults fluid conference. So we're still working together a lot. But one thing, though, that I've always appreciated about Matt, and I, I, I believe he's probably shared this, this DNA has been shared with you as well, is that um, he just has a passion for healthy marriages. And so Christy and I and Matt and Lisa have really worked on our own a little bit. We've been working, I don't know if you did, were part of the online marriage uh, conference that we did last year, but we just really have worked hard uh, to make the meeting house very aware of how healthy marriages are important for healthy families. And so those are just a few little bonus things, maybe getting to know us a little bit that maybe um, will have you um, a little bit, getting to know us a little bit more. Um, on a personal note, I would love to get to know all of you better. This is a weird space we're in. I don't think we're going to be in it forever, but I want you to feel free to call me for any pastoral care. I mean, if you want to go to Don Quarry, he's not quite as good as I am, but apparently he's pretty decent. No, I'm teasing, Don. Um, <clears throat> but if you, whoever you feel comfortable with, we want to make sure you get your proper pastoral care that you might need. Uh, but the other, uh, the other thing would be, too, is that we just want to make ourselves available to your, this community as much as we possibly can. So, yeah. So, Dagmar, can we get Matt to come on here? Are you OK with that? Sorry. Dagmar and I, she just yeah. finished yesterday her day off. So we've like 15 minutes before this started. That's all that we've spoken. So, Dagmar, is that where you want to go or do you want to do yeah. something else? No, that's perfect. It's all you, Matt. OK. Matt, you, so I don't know if it's me, but there's weird stuff going on in your town. Is that better? Mm -hmm. No. Okay. Um, yeah, it's I, I've uh, I, I'm excited for John and Christy to join. I met John when I was uh, I won't say what age I was. It was 28 years ago, um, and so I've known John longer than I've known my wife. Um, and uh, John actually got me into ministry. Um, and so it's exciting. And John and I have been partnering in ministry for 28 years. Uh, that's how we met was in at a conference. And we've been doing stuff together ever since. And uh, just love John and Christy to death. And so glad they were part of this. And so glad to have them as influencers in our life. Um, the purpose for me today is just to let you know, I know Dagmar has uh, somebody that is doing something for KidMax in uh at the Hamilton Mountain site. And so John asked in this next month of um, online shutdowns because the theater is being closed uh, for Ancaster because we had done this previously. And so I'm going to run a KidMax uh, for grade one to five um, twice in January. So we're going to do one next month or next month, next week, the 16th. Uh, then we'll take a week off and then we'll do the following week as well. So I think it's the 16th and 30th if my dates are correct. Uh, and so we will run an Ancaster to go along with the um, Hamilton Mountain one, um, just because of familiarity uh, with uh, kids and with them, with me and the Hamilton Mountain ones with who Dagmar has. And so um, for those families in our Ancaster community, you'll get an email link uh, for a Zoom call sent out to you this week. Again, I know it's not ideal, um, but it's an opportunity just to gather our kids. And we did it um, last spring, uh, a couple of times a month. Uh, from 9 till 9.55, and we'll do the same again, uh, where we'll watch the teaching together, we'll do some crafts together, and we'll just try and create some fun atmosphere for our Ancaster kids, uh, grades 1 to 5, 
uh, next Sunday and the 30th. So looking forward to that. If you have questions about the KidMax stuff, uh, feel free to give me a shout or an email and I'm happy to uh, chat with you about that. Thanks, Matt. So everybody, we Dagmar and, Dagmar and I decided along with some of the leaders that we're actually decided just to shut uh, any in on Sunday in-person gatherings down for the month of January. Uh, we just thought that that was the best way to prepare everybody here so that, and the entire, uh, both uh, parishes that they would understand that, okay, here's the decision that we're making. And so what that also does mean is, and I'm still trying to get caught up with everything. Uh, it's only been a few days really um, since the beginning of the year since I've been doing this, but um, and Dagmar, I don't know about uh, Hamilton Mountains home churches, but is it my understanding that the 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 Ancaster home churches are all either online or they're pausing for the month of January? If that's not the case, I'll I'll uh, we'll send an email. But Don, do you know of that, or does anybody else want to speak into Ancaster on home churches at the moment? Uh, I'll just mention that the Turnbull Home Church is meeting online for uh, uh, for the foreseeable future. Okay. Hey, Mark Nyman, are you, I see you there. You're in a shadow though, Mark. We're, um, John, we're uh, taking a break for the month of January. Yeah, we're taking a break for the okay. month of January. And uh, okay. we'll be back in February. Not sure what our format will be. Perfect. Okay. What he said. And that's the one with Mark, right? Yep. Yep. Okay. Who am I missing on home church here that might be on the call? Linda? Yeah, we're looking for a new name, but we used to be more credit. <laughs> We've been online um, for ages and we're continuing online. Okay, perfect. Nice to meet you, Linda. Nice to meet you too, John. Yeah. There's a Monday, uh, Monday yeah. group, Alderly, that's meeting online. And then uh, Lisa and I run a uh, young married couples one every other week. And uh, we've pushed pause because they can't handle Zoom. So they're anti-Zoom for now. So we've just pushed pause until we can regather indoors uh, again safely. Okay, perfect. Okay, Mark? So we have um, most of our home churches meet online. We have one um, family-friendly home, home church that is in Dunville. So out in the West East, Easterly areas. It's my Torontoism speaking there. Sorry, Hamilton. Um, and uh, they were meeting in person. They just started meeting in person, but because of what's happening, everybody's just online. And I don't think any of our home churches are taking a full break in January. Um, we have a few leaders who are taking a month off, but we're, we're still rolling with all of our regular home church. So, yeah. yeah. Okay, perfect. Yeah. And then there's actually, in our case, we were, we were meeting since October. We've been meeting every other week um in person but obviously with what's right now. happening now that is not possible yeah. so we were scheduled to meet the 11th and 25th of january uh we won't be meeting on the 11th and probably not the 25th either but we'll probably go to zoom if that's going back to zoom which we did before we were meeting together again so that's where we'll at probably not until the end of january the first of february though perfect Thanks, Steve. Sorry to leave you out of that. <laughs> so, so there is the T eight, the T, the meeting house T M H U. Yeah, that's happening. Uh, courses month, that yeah. in January that are available, right? So, if anybody would like to participate, uh, there's a link at least that I sent in an email last night. And if anybody wants to, they can talk to Dagmar and I. We can make sure that you're linked up to those courses. And the majority of those are through January, um, as well. Yeah, I was just wondering before we sort of wind this down, does anybody have any questions or mm -hmm. is there anything that's on your mind that maybe we could help you with or, um, yeah, I'll just leave that open for a few minutes. I have a question, it's, it's Maggie. Hey, um, Maggie. Hey, so I, I heard, sorry, I jumped on late, so I apologize if you um, have already said this. So um, I understand that we're not going to be in person for probably the rest of January. Is the thought yeah. that we will be back in February or kind of what has been the conversation that you've been having with Cineplex? 
So here, Maggie, I'll, I'll say this is that Dagmar has been off for a few weeks and yeah, I've you been probably just know more than I do right now. Well, no, no, no. I've only been in this role for like three days. So I'm, I don't want to go all those meetings that you have to go to, um, Dagmar. Maggie, I think that what we're hearing is, is that we're going to play it by ear with Cineplex and they aren't reopening. Nobody believes they're going to be re reopening for at least two weeks. And so we're going to play it by ear as to what they're doing on their own. Um, they do rent the yeah. theater to church groups, even if they aren't open. So there, there is potentially the option for us to go in to rent the theater. But what we will need to do is we need to give at least two weeks to Andrew Scanlon, that's, um, he works at the Meeting House, um, so that he can talk to the theaters so that they will be uh, two weeks in advance, so that they will be aware if we are even thinking about renting. So we need to be making decisions like two weeks in advance. So I don't know if that's helpful or not, but that's all kind of, I think I know. Yeah, and um, then I think- no, that is helpful. Thank yeah, you. and then I think the rest of the, so they're, the fact that they're closed for business isn't necessarily affecting our ability to rent from them. But we also don't know what February is going to look like. So we're trying to take it sort of two, two weeks at a time in terms of decision making for the most part. Right. So the idea, sorry. So the idea of us um, um, not being in person, obviously, because of the increase in cases. Yeah. But you're saying, though, that um, we are allowed to be in the space, even if even if this, the theater is closed, that they, they're still renting out the space to churches. Yes. So Cineplex, when we- Yeah, sorry. Sorry, Cineplex. so when we, we make that decision, when we feel comfortable as a community, we could go back into in-person gathering. Yes, but the Cineplex is renting to churches and allowing churches to do their services. Yeah. The problem is also that each Cineplex has laid, they've laid off a, a pile of employees. So it, each Cineplex, like, I don't know if Ancaster has the employees to do it, if that makes sense as well. Uh, so there's, there's a few layers uh, in this as well. Right. Right. Okay. No, that's super helpful. Thank you, guys. And mm -hmm. I apologize if you had already said this before and everybody's no, here. Okay. I have no, a good. Um, what I'm wondering is, uh, I know there was a conversation prior to Christmas that we might be looking at another space, uh, Living Hope or whatever the one down on, is it Cumberland? Um, is that an option? Is, that a, is there a conversation being uh, happening around a space other than the theater? Thank you, Mark. Cheers. Yeah, uh, well, we've, had, we've definitely had conversation about the possibility of uh, finding alternate spaces. So um, whether that is uh, Hamilton Mountain finds one in Stony Creek and we do that and Ancaster finds one in their area and you guys do that. Or we've also talked about the possibility of still sharing space together just as, as some place that's kind of in between the two. So geographically, uh, you know, as convenient as possible. Um, but that's all just a uh, conversation for this at this point. We haven't necessarily found a space and we haven't necessarily had some deep conversations with our leaders to figure out what that would look like. Um, but I think from what I understand, most people are pretty open to any of those options. So um, yeah, there's certainly benefits to having an alternate space and some drawbacks as well. Sometimes that means changing your service time. So instead of meeting Sunday morning, you might have to meet Sunday afternoon. So there's some changes and things like that that would need to be processed through with the community before we would make a formal decision, but, um, but it's a possibility, yeah. Does anybody else have any questions? We don't want to interfere with your football schedule, everybody, <laughs> right? So I want to make sure. Okay, I, I, I want, I just again want to reiterate, I just want to make myself available for the Ancaster community that 
even like with what Don just spoke about, about, you know, potentially, you know, looking at different op options for space or some of those things, feel free to call me like offline if you want to, you know, a FaceTime or a Zoom call or something like that. I'd love to get to know people better and just find out sort of what's, you know, what's your DNA? What are you, what are you dreaming about uh, beyond kind of like, you know, even the next three months or so? Um, you know, the meeting house has a few months that are going to be pretty turbulent potentially. And so we just need, really need to be praying for our community, uh, the, the overall meeting house family, but we also just need to be, you know, considering what is God speaking to us uh, for the future of the Hamilton Mountain Parish and for the Hamil uh, for Ancaster Parish as well. So if I can lend myself to the open ears and help discern things a little bit, maybe work with some leaders, uh, I'd love to do that. Um, and hopefully free some space up for Dagmar also, not to be carrying Ancaster and Hamilton Mountain, but she can focus on Hamilton Mountain a bit more too. So hopefully, uh, you know, that'll be helpful as well. Um, Dagmar, if you have any last words, I, I've asked Christy if she wouldn't mind closing in prayer. Oh, I would love that. Right, Christy? Okay. <laughs> in, in the Burlington, in Burlington, uh, Christy, my wife and I uh, did quite a bit together, but there's one thing that Christy did, uh, I was going to say did very well, because you do everything well, but if there's anything she took the weight on as far as our parish is concerned, is, is the prayer ministry, and so Christy was our prayer coordinator, and she would end off our calls like this and praying, and so Christy, uh, uh, it would be great if you would do that for us today, too. Thanks. Oh, yeah, I'd love to do that. And, you know, just quickly, I'll just say if anybody has um, just a need or a concern or a burden that, that you would like some extra prayer for, please just send that email to John. And I would love to be joining with you and praying um, for whatever need you might have. And I know there's one other person in the Ancaster site who would also be willing to do that too. So um, just, I'm just putting it out there. If you have anything you would like, just some extra prayer support for, just shoot an email to John and he'll let me know and we'll be holding you up in prayer. Okay, so let's just pray together. Jesus Christ, we honor you. We exalt you as our God. We exalt you as our Savior. We exalt you as our healer. We exalt you as our hope. We exalt you as our provider. We exalt you as our protector. We exalt you as our keeper. And Father, we just want to place into your hands at the beginning of this month and this new year, um, Ancaster and Hamilton Mountain parishes and we just ask, Holy Spirit, that we would be really in tune with what you are saying, with how you are directing, with where you are calling and inviting us to go with you as parishes. I pray that our ears would be open to hear you. I pray that our eyes would be open to see where you are moving and where you are drawing us, that we would be people who are completely in tune with you and following you. I pray that you would increase our hunger for you. I pray that you would increase our thirst for you. And I pray that as we seek you, we will find you. Thank you so much for your presence, for your love, and for how you speak to us. And um, I just pray that this week, we would be attentive to what you are saying in each of our lives. Father, I just lift up those who are struggling who are dealing with health issues or um, work issues or in need of employment, um, those who are hurting, those who are sad, those who are lonely. Jesus, would you come with your presence and would you fill them and would you enable them to know in a really personal and fresh and deep way that you are there, that you are there. And so we just commit these parishes to you. May we love and honor you with all that we have and all that we are, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 <clears throat> well, look, thank you all for welcoming, uh, welcoming us. And Dagmar, thank you for letting us join with Hamilton Mountain and seeing some faces there too. We know some of these people, so this is wonderful. Um, just one thing, Dagmar, I thought would be important. This is recorded, everybody. So I'm hoping to at least send this recording out or make it available on YouTube for maybe some people who couldn't listen in 
just so that they get to know Christy and I a little bit better from the community. Um, so we'll sort of make that available. So Dagmar, you get the last words. Um, so Hamilton Mountain, you can look out for um, an updated newsletter coming out soon. Um, and we also, um, she's not here today with us, but uh, I'll get a chance to introduce her at some point, but we do have a, uh, an admin person coming on with, to help with uh, Ann Castor and Hamilton Mountain. So there'll be um, lots more communication and, uh, and things will be a little, yeah. More communicative is how I'll say it in the coming months hopefully so yeah so there you go coordinated there you go um so you can look out for that and uh and then hopefully next time we get together if it is online or in person um we will have uh annie is her name will be with us and we can introduce her so that you guys can get to know her as well thank you thank you we good thank okay you. god bless you all have a great week. And like I like I like to end all of my conversations. Go Bills go. I don't know if you're all Bills fans, but there's the last words. There go, you go. Go uh, Canada go. <laughs> oh, that's right. Bless Bye. you all. Bye. Take care. Bye-bye. John, Bye. you want to stay Thank on you. for a minute? Sure. Bye-bye. Can you stop the recording?